Hey there, Brawniacs. Welcome back to Bronze Over Brains. I'm your man, Bronson Layton, of course, and guys, uh, it is great to see you. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video to Bronze Over Brains, and I can imagine at this point some of you may have uh, wondered where I have been, and let me tell you, that is what this video is about, because as you may have uh, guessed by the title of the video, I am here to give you a brief life update on what I've been up to uh, these last few months. And for any new viewers out there, uh, welcome to Bronze Over Brains. I hope you will continue to join us on our journey as we continue our advocacy for autism, as well as continuing my story here on YouTube. Every video I upload on here is a continuation of where I'm going in life and how much of a family I'm continuing to grow by myself. Also, if you are new here, please consider uh, subscribing to our channel here. We would really appreciate the growth, uh, the continued growth of our channel. And so without further ado, uh, let's dive into this little life update. To begin this uh, life update video, I want to acknowledge that, yes, it has been like three months since I uploaded uh, a video to Bronze Over Brains. I believe it was the video where I did my Clark Griswold impressions from Christmas Vacation, and that was literally the last video I uh, uploaded to YouTube. And now that I'm thinking about it, I believe this is the very first video that I've uploaded to Bronze Over Brains in 2023. Yeah, it's now March, uh, late March, and that video was uploaded in December. So, yeah, there was really nothing in between. So, I want to give us a little rehash on something I mentioned in uh, the last several videos I did. Yeah, about eight months ago, I uploaded a video explaining that uh, me and Savannah are now engaged. That was eight months ago when I uploaded that video. It's almost been an entire year since I proposed to her at Disney World, and a lot has happened since then. We are still in the engaged phase uh, we're going to be married, like, in the foreseeable future. We're looking at sometime in 2024, but I don't have any information beyond that. Uh, we're still working on it, and the odds and the ends, that sort of stuff. Regardless if I mentioned this in the past or not, I am happy to say that... Uh, ever since August, I have been working as a college English instructor, and uh, for those of you who don't know, that's always been my dream career, and I did mention uh, my dream career at various points in this channel uh, since 2019, but I'm happy to say that as of now, I am now living that dream, and I've been working at a couple of different colleges since uh, August of last year. It's been quite a roller coaster getting used to teaching uh, students rather than working alongside them as a student. Um, I did mention that last year, uh, around this time last year, I got my master's degree in English. So now I'm applying what I learned in college, and I'm giving back uh, to the community as an instructor. I'm still fresh in my career as one, so I'm still learning how to 
balance out my teaching methods and how to communicate effectively with students through assignments. And so, yeah, my career has been molding. <laughs> yeah, it's been molding uh, very effectively. I am having a blast. And the students I'm working with, they are very uh, smart. They are very creative. And as well as the other instructors that I'm working with, they have been very uh, nice to me and they have been so great to work with. They've been helping me adapt to the work environment and how to get used to uh, my responsibilities as an instructor. And so, yeah, I'm, I couldn't be more grateful for working with this exceptional uh, group of colleagues. And while I'm on that thought, this would be the main reason why I haven't uploaded anything in several months is because I've been so busy with like, you know, lecturing and grading papers and that sort of thing. It's literally so much work, despite the fact I'm legally considered a part-time employee, it's literally so much work that it takes a lot of my time. And, you know, doing videos, I really haven't had time for that. But I guess we could all say that, you know, one way or another, we've had uh, a lot of workloads that have prevented us from juggling, getting stuff done and doing things that we enjoy. Even though I haven't uploaded a video in three months up until this point, there hasn't been a day that went by where I didn't think about Bronze Over Brains. I've often thought about uh, if people were wondering where I am because I did say that uh, by the time I moved to South Carolina that there'd be a new series going on, and it's still going on. We're still in the Bronze Over Brains South Carolina Stories series as long as I'm living here, but suffice it to say that I will likely not be making as many videos over here as much as I did uh, back in Alabama. But, you know, the times are different now. I am starting my career and getting used to everything. So YouTube, that's more of a side hobby if I ever have time for it. I'm no longer a college student with time on my hands between assignments. So, yeah, I... I I still love doing Bronze Over Brains. It's a way I showcase my advocacy. But anyway, I'm rambling on about work-life balance, so I'm going to continue on with the life update. <laughs> Another update I have for you guys is that uh, also since last August, I have been going to the chiropractor about twice a week, and... Uh, I gotta let you in on a little secret. Before last fall, I never once in my life went to the chiropractor. I always thought that it would be a painful experience because, uh, you know, chiropractors, they're always adjusting uh, people's joints uh, and that kind of stuff. And I thought it would be painful because we always hear those cracking noises when people's necks or backs are adjusted. So when I started going in the fall, it was a little bit to get used to. I wasn't used to having any part of my body adjusted, but the more I went, the more I've actually enjoyed it. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that at this point with it being March, I'm actually addicted to it. I'm actually addicted to going to my chiropractor's office not really caring where I get adjusted as long as I do get adjusted. It's like an endorphin rush whenever you hear that crack or, you know, that popping sound wherever it takes place. It's not only the physical feeling of those visits that I've enjoyed, but the I've been noticing something. The more I've gone to the chiropractor, the more that I've noticed my mental health has been improving. And I say that not on the level because I'm very alert from drinking coffee or anything, but 
uh, every time I got adjusted, I felt like I could go through the whole day just like standing up and lecturing in front of students. And if I'm like this close to my computer and just grading away for several hours a day, I no longer feel like I have neck or back pain as much as I used to. And I could just type away, get all my work done, and often sit back in the chair and, you know, take a breather on occasion. It's just overall, I've been feeling great going to the chiropractor. And so uh, compared to my last several videos on the channel, I now feel like a thousand times uh, mentally happy. So there's that. And speaking of chiropractors, I want to give you all a little update about my fiance, Savannah. She's still in chiropractic school. A uh, little reminder, that's the main reason why we moved up here uh, is because she's going through chiropractic school and uh, she's working to achieve her dream career of becoming a chiropractor. She's working very hard uh, in her studies and adapting into the workplace of becoming a chiropractor. Uh, as far as I know, sooner or later she will be transitioning from being a student to an intern, that sort of stuff. I don't know how the curriculum works for uh, chiropractors or other kinds of medical fields, but uh, I have been with her the whole time that she's been a chiropractic student. And let me tell you, there's a lot of studying involved. And I don't really mean reading or writing. The ironic thing is me being an English instructor, I work in the area where assignments are really writing intensive. And in Savannah's case, she does little to no writing. She does some writing, but uh, it's all uh, it's all pretty much just research based and reading powerpoints that sort of stuff it's it's an intensive program and yet she's been pulling through uh the entire time we've been living here and she's uh going above and beyond to make very good grades yeah she's she makes very good exceptional grades very recently, she had some finals to go through, and man, I'm just glad I'm here to support her because uh, if there are any viewers out there who are hoping to become a chiropractor one day, just know that you're in for the ride of your life when it comes to studying. So make sure you work hard, you study, and don't take your studies very lightly because when it comes to earning a terminal degree, I can't put it into any other words uh, other than it's practically a full-time job. Like, they actually discourage you uh, from working a job when you are in chiropractic school. But, uh, like I said, I don't know the curriculum, so I'm just going to leave it at words uh, right here. Leave it up to interpretation. But, yeah, overall... Uh, Savannah's been doing a great job. And for some of our viewers out there, thank you uh, for asking us in the recent past on how she's doing and as well as how I've been doing. Even though we haven't been as active on YouTube as we used to be, we really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us uh, and checking in on us, that sort of stuff. And so one final update I have for you guys is, uh, long story short, I am now an uncle. Now, I don't want to confuse anybody. I don't actually have a biological brother or anything like that, but uh, I have this old friend uh, back home, back in Alabama. We've always considered each other to be brothers, and uh, very recently I found out that he's now a dad. Uh, he has had uh, a baby born uh, this past November. And uh, by the way, uh, if he's watching this by the time this video comes out, I want to say hi to you, Hayden. And I want to say hi to uh, baby Grayson. 
and Grayson. This is your Uncle Bronson, and I hope that one day when you look back and see this video, I want you to know that we are all proud of you and of how far you're going to go in life. A lot has changed uh, since I moved away. Uh, in retrospect, I can't believe that uh, it's been almost a full year since I moved away from Alabama. But truth be told, life goes on. And in the near future, for as long as uh, we're staying up here and we're continuing to become a full-fledged English instructor and, you know, one of us is becoming a chiropractor, we got to do what we have to to uh, make it in life. When I'm looking back on it, I am like way beyond uh, the mindset of wanting to become a full-time YouTuber. And so uh, that's pretty much everything I have of uh, for all of you right now. If um, in the near future, if I have an idea for a follow-up video, like after this one, I'll make it. It's all a matter of exactly when I will be able to do it because, like I mentioned earlier in this video, uh, my time is limited in terms of having the availability to create an, a YouTube video. And, you know, my career, it is what matters most. But despite the busyness of my duties as an instructor, I never want you guys to forget that I love advocating for people in the autism community because I am still carrying out what I set out to do. I am, through my career, I am trying to be a good example of how a person can achieve his or her dreams uh, through hard work and dedication and, of course, always being there for others. And so before I depart, I want to say hi to all my loved ones back home. I hope that whenever you see this video, I want you to know that I didn't forget uh, to say hi. And for you other Broniacs out there, I hope you're staying safe and healthy. And I hope you all are looking forward to a very good, peaceful, and potentially hot summer coming. I can't wait to have a vacation, I tell you. This work, being an English instructor, it takes a lot of focus, let me tell you that. So yeah, I'm glad I was able to shoot this video um, during our spring break. So by the time you're watching this, my spring break will be over and it'll be time for me to get back to work. But like I said, I enjoyed uh, catching up with all of you and meeting some new viewers out there. And I hope that you all will uh, stay tuned before uh, I get to another video in the future. Hopefully it'll be sooner than the last week, but you never know. Uh, just know I'll be one click away and I will update you guys in the future if more exciting things happen and when I come up with a new idea for a more exciting video rather than just a sit and talk video. In closing, Again, please consider subscribing to Bronze Over Brains, and uh, we really appreciate the support that you're giving us. And until next time, this is Bronze Over Brains. I'm Bronson Layton, always reminding you to stay brawny. See you guys next time.